Hello everybody, this is Emil from youtube.com slash dotnet tutorial and in this tutorial I'll teach you how to make a simple Skype application which will either spam one person or send a Skype message to all of your contacts. So go ahead, open a new project and change the forums text if you want. And we're gonna add a reference to the, uh, to the project in the solution explorer. We're gonna use the Skype for Calm library which I will supply in the description or on the thread wherever you're watching this video. So go ahead and do that. And we're gonna add some code to form one. So we're gonna go to the imports and import Skype for Calm library. And in the public class we're gonna do this public with events Skype as new Skype for Calm library dot Skype. Alright. Um, I'm going to make it a bit fancy, you know. Um, I'm going to add a tab control if I can find it. There we go. Like that. Change the first tab page to mm, message one. And change the tab page two to message. Oh, there we go. It's so on the first tab. We're going to add three text boxes. Let me see. There we go. Three text boxes. Just put them in order like I do. Like that. Then we're going to change the text of all of them. For the first one, the message which will be sent. For the second one, Skype name to send the message to and for the last one the interval which will indicate the frequency of the sending of the messages and then we're gonna add a button there we go we can make it a bit smaller I guess it's a bit too big right now there we go well we can add two buttons by the way if you want to stop button in there which I suggest. So change the text. Stop for the second button. Start for the first one. And we're gonna want to add a timer. Alright, we're gonna add some code to the timer first. So go ahead, skype.send message. Then we'll first have to input the Skype name, which is in this case the second text box, and a message, which is the first one. So Skype send message, text box two the text text box one the text add a comma in between there we go uh, that will do it and then we'll just add some code to the first button which is going to be time around that interf interval equals text box three dot text as we done here all right and then time one dot start there we go second button should be obvious time one dot stop all right so that's it for that part and then we're gonna go to the second tab and we're gonna add a text box as you probably expected you can make it multi-line if you want with whatever we're gonna make it align in the center and add a message text and then we'll add another button and change the text button to send to all contacts there we go when we click it we're gonna want to do for each user in skype.friends um, skype.send message user.handle as we did there and text box for the text as we use the for text box for the message well that will work that's all there is to it I'm just going to show you what works real quick so start debugging and this is my test Skype account uh, message whatever test test one to three Skype name I'm gonna input the Skype name and the interval is in milliseconds 
uh, one second is thousand milliseconds so if you want a message to be sent once a second you have to set it to one thousand and for a thousand messages per second you have to set it to one I'm just going to set it to 500 now that's two messages per second and we're going to start it well there we go it is working as you can see um, we'll stop it just for now and this should also work I'm not going to test it right now to bother all of my contacts but you'll see it works if you need it uh, and that's all there is to it thanks for watching my tutorial uh, feel free to let me know if you want me to make more of them and maybe even suggestions for tutorials to create